voices with the instruments. It's pure acoustic. It, it, most, most mariachi bands walking around the street are the best ones to me. If you go see them in an auditorium, they put mics in front of them, it never sounds the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, I see we have a cue now, so go ahead. Hi, Sammy. Um, I just want to say I love your show, um, Rock and Roll Road Trip. And um, a few years ago, I was watching a television show, and I think it was called Celebrity Ghost Encounters. <laughs> Do you remember doing that? Of course I did. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Would you be willing to tell that story? Because I thought that was one of the coolest and scariest things I've ever heard. Well, there were two stories I've had. I've had three things that have happened. One was a UFO experience. Another one was with my father the night he died. And that's which the story the, that I remember. Well, it's the most intense thing that's ever happened to me in my life. So. Um, I mean, I'll tell you, it's pretty short and simple, but it sounds crazy as can be, but um, I lived in an apartment, uh, and we didn't have, I had a bed on the floor, and I had a two-year-old son, Aaron, who's now 46. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he was uh, in a, you know, a little bed next to the, the mattress on the floor, and uh, my, I didn't have a telephone, and a manager of my band lived down the hall, and it's in San Francisco, and he had a phone. So, um, all of a sudden, I'm laying in bed, I'm dreaming that my dad comes to my door. My dad was alcoholic, he was in the streets now, nobody had seen him for a long time. He was just totally like homeless. And so, um, my dad knocks on my door and I go, oh, who the hell's knocking on the door in the middle of the night? I open the door, and it's my dad, he's like in his 20s, he's all happy and, and he's drunk, you know, and he's screaming, great day for the Irish, that was his, his big saying. and. Um, when he was drinking, and I got real mad at him, and I said, get the hell out of here, you got my little son on the ground, you're gonna scare him to death, and don't ever come here drunk again, right? I went and go back to bed, my ex-wife who was there said, uh, this is all in a dream. She goes, what was that? I said, it was my dad, you know? And I said, ah, and I went back to sleep. This is it, all dreaming, and it was exactly like it was, and somebody knocks on the door, and I got up, I thought it was him again, went was pissed off, opened the door, and it was my manager, kind of my goosebumps on my arms and legs, and he goes, uh, your sister's on the phone, four o'clock in the morning. Whew. So, yeah, whew, I can't, I can't do it. That's it. <laughs> That's what happened, and you know, you can't make stuff like that up. 